Hello folks, it's the Siggy. Um, thanks for uh, logging on to view my latest video. What I'm talking about today is, is following a few requests. Um, the Militia Council, you know, why should we have it? Why bother? What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna use the edit function just to, to move my Military Council building, just so that you can actually see um, how things work. Um, edit, let's pick it up, and we're going to move it over here where it's not boosted. So when you get your military council building, um, what will happen is it will say that it will give you a, um, a defense attack, attack boost and a faction bonus as well. We click on it just a left click um, you get an increase of 25 um, attack and defense because of my members in uh, the shizzle here on Android I get an additional 16 bonus again attack and defense now these figures are not a significant figure they're, they're very small but the idea is this building can be boosted I'm going to take it back into my area where I've started to boost. I say started because it always wants to be better, but I guess it's money, time, etc., etc. Um, so let's go back into edit, pick it up, and plonk it back down here. Um, on my boosters, I've, I've got a number of different boosters some uh, are from a while ago some are relatively new um, let me have a look at now I've got some boosters around it the the change in uh, my military council strength so we'll just X out of that click on it and we've gone from that 25 and 16 to 871 and 557 an additional I don't know what's that 1300 no nearly over 1400 boost which you've got to say is a is a significant boost for uh, for us we just come out of there each of the boosters that I've actually placed in this particular area we've got these Air Force Academies that gave 500%. They came from, uh, you bought stars some time ago, and there was an add-on that came uh, free, I think it was. The downside of these is the area that they boost is very limited. You know, it's a high percentage, but it only covers a small area. Um, and I'll show you um, that area in a second. Um, we've got our a Lincoln statues, 75%. Uh, we've got the Bastille. Again, I think this was on a... Um, oh, I've just thought of something about the Air Force Academies again. The Bastille, these were on an offer that you purchase with stars. If anybody struggles, you know, thinking, shall I buy stars? Do what I do, just get drunk and then wake up the next day and think, hello, I've got a load of stars now. Probably not great advice, but there we go. Um, these Air Force um, Institutes, these Air Force Academies, I beg your pardon, um, you do get one or two of these on the mentoring rewards. Mentoring will be uh, the subject of another video in the near future. Okay, we want to see what sort of area that our boosters cover. We do this by going into uh, the edit menu again. It's also the same as when you place the item that you just bought or whatever. It will give you an indication in terms of percentage what an increase is when you're placing the item. But to check things and move things about, rejig it, etc., 
Again, we'll go back to our edit menu. On the edit menu, we can click on our Air Force Academy and we'll notice that we're actually boosting uh, these oil storage areas around the side, these pagodas. And there is part of a bonus going towards my military council, which is currently at 3,385%. Um, I think it's higher on my windows, but hey ho, it's by the by. As I said, these only give uh, an extra square bonus. So they've got to be adjacent to something like this. It can be a bit of an, a, a disadvantage that because when we come to things like our um, Bastilles, in fact, I'm going to go to the one that's furthest away. We've still got our bonus, that 3385, but because of the size that this covers, if you can see by the uh, yellow area, I can fit in loads of other boosters. You know, for example, I've got my Lincoln Memorials. I've got this uh, garden, again, it was a special. And because I'm boosting so much around my military council, I, I tend to put things like oil storage, um, energy plants, and different things around them. This here is a bit sloppy, I'll change that at some stage. Um, to me now, the, the idea of boosting uh, all our units, um, for example, the, the weapon centers, the uh, tank factories, the airfields, etc. I'm starting to go off the idea providing you've got enough to be busy. Now we've got a gold crack. Uh, that was a company I used to work for. Um, we've got a global con conquest coming up this weekend and everybody but everybody should be um, or should have built power-ups, units, etc, etc, and fuse them where necessary. I think if we take that basic thing, that ABC, that always be constructing, and I'm not at the moment. Um, why would you need to do it in a quicker time? Certainly on my Windows account, what I've got is I've got a number of um, uh, weapon factories that are just adjacent to each other, that are not boosted, and I've got about 15 or 20 in a line that uh, do have uh, boosters around them in case I do get desperate. The worst thing in the world is when you're looking to donate 10 smoke um, as power-ups for um, a unit to donate and you realize you've only got two or three of them you know, and you haven't got that much lo longer left on the war, you, you need to get it done. You guys know what I mean. Again, certainly on base tips, like the base tips one and two, that's one day I should do um, an advanced base tips. That being the case, I'd implore some of the senior players, you know, to, to share with me what they think is a good tip. Um, I don't have all the answers, guys. I'd like to think I do. I just know an awful lot of people that do know the answers. Um, these oil wells here, these will be moved. Um, what I tried doing is that I, I, I deleted a, a lot of bits and pieces. Um, it was to try and make space. Because this is Android, and I'd already, you know, unlocked fully uh, Windows. It's almost like having the benefit of hindsight. So, you know, I was unlocking areas, you know, faster than I normally would. Because that makes sense. You know, it's the space that you need. At the moment, I've got a fair bit of space that's unused, which is it's scandalous, really. You know, they should all be full. 
You know, if people have got free space, surely you can be doing something there. Unless, of course, you've got too many units, or you've got too many power-ups, or you get what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, relocate these somewhere, fill this back up with weapon factories. Um, if anybody wants me to, I'll do it as a live stream. Um, if not, I'll just get it done. But there we go. The video was about the uh, military council. Typical Siggy, I've uh, digressed slightly. Um, something else uh, to point out, when I put my fusion centers, you know, I'll put them near um, or in between my boosted or boosting items. But there we go, guys. Um, thank you for watching. <coughs> You've been watching the Siggy. <laughs>